Hey everybody, so today is Tag Tuesday and I have a little tag for ya. I found, um, excuse my appearance, I just finished working out, go me. So I am probably all sweaty and shiny looking and red. And that's why I don't have my glasses on because they're making my face hot. And because my face is so hot, it's fogging my glasses. Hashtag glasses probs. Anyways, um, so yeah, the tag I am going to be doing is the first time tag. I just found it. on. I have it on my phone. I just found the questions. I just like looked on YouTube for a tag. Anyways, um, so this should be interesting. So yeah, let's get into it. And uh, just pardon me if I stop for a drink. I got my water bottle because I'm super hot and super thirsty. And I doubt I will, but <laughs> got some apples. With my breakfast anyway let's get on with it um Caden is here I know it seems very quiet he is um in his room eating peanut butter and jelly sandwich and watching Rio 2 so hopefully he stays there um I figured I would distract him while I tried to do this because all the editing I have to do usually with him in here anyways first time tag first tweet I have a Twitter account. I've deleted it and um, reinstalled it probably three or four different times. I created it solely to follow people and then I lost interest. I don't think I've ever tweeted. I don't even think I know how to tweet. First YouTube video, I think I said this in another video not too long ago. It was like June of 2011, I believe because it was right before I got pregnant the first time. First person you subscribed to on YouTube. Okay, I'm not totally positive on this, but the person that comes to mind is Dulce Candy. And I, I think I've explained this too. I started, I started going to YouTube because I was about to get married. I don't know if you can hear my kid. I think he's arguing with himself. Let's see what he's doing. He usually yells at the dog for taking his food, but um, she's right here. It must be a really intense movie. Anyways, I apologize. Okay, so first, first YouTube person I, oh yeah, okay, so I was planning my wedding, I was looking for hair and makeup, like DIY videos, and um, I googled it, <clears throat> which led me to YouTube, and uh, Dulcie Candy was super young in her room, if any of you watch her, and she was um, in her bedroom, and like, I don't know, I think she was like curling her hair, doing updo or something like that, and I was like, huh. And then I watched a couple more of her videos and then I guess in one of her videos she must have said subscribe and I was like what? Um, and so that's kind of how it all started. So I created an account and I, sub I subscribed to her. And I wish I could go to each person and see how long I've been following them but I can't, I don't know who was like relatively like soon after that. She's the first person that comes to mind and I'm pretty sure she's the first person. I found and I was just like amazed that she was making making these videos on the internet and and they were helping me so the first videos I the first uh, 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 the first youtubers I subscribed to were all makeup and beauty gurus and I still watch most of them a few of them I've unsubscribed to not many though I like hang on to people I don't know why it's like Facebook friends I don't really like go through Facebook and delete people I don't know why about that either okay first Facebook <laughs> profile picture. I'll show you. I will show you. Just give me a second. Let me find it. It's really blurry. It's, I put this up on 2007. I think it might be older than that though. It's already blurry so. You see that long blonde hair? Yeah. Um. I don't know if that helps. Can you see a little bit better? Anyway, that is my friend Ryan. He's gay. 
and I love him to death and I've been friends with him as long as I've been with my husband um, actually longer because Ryan and I met at the same place I met my husband and um, we became attached to the, at the hip and my mom kept saying oh he likes you and I'm like no he does not like me um, and so we've been friends ever since he moved away to Colorado and then moved back and now he lives in DC with his husband and I live here and we're about three three and a half hours apart now but um, him and I and another friend we always make time to meet up so that's fun so we're, we still keep in touch and stuff do you still talk to your first love as a matter of fact I do that is my husband we've been together for 13 years I know I say this all the time um, we started hanging out and I had a huge crush on him and apparently he had a crush on me. I was 16 years old. So, I mean, I had crushes on other boys in school and stuff. Um, but I started working in 10th grade and um, that's where I met him, Kevin. His name is Kevin. And uh, he actually went to a different high school, our rival high school. And so we didn't go to school. So everybody's like, oh, you guys are high school sweethearts. And um, I always say he was my high school sweetheart because right after we started dating, he graduated. Um, he is a year and a half older than me, so he was two grades ahead of me. So he is a senior and I was a uh, sophomore. So um, actually, he might have already graduated at that point. Yeah, he had already graduated, so he wasn't even in high school. I was going to say, I probably would have went to his graduation if we, he was in high school. So anyways, he graduated in 2001. I graduated in 2003. And if anybody is super young watching this, you probably think I'm so old. <laughs> what was your first alcoholic drink? That was the um, Smirnoff Twisted drinks. The, I think it was Sour Apple or something. Do you guys remember those? The bottles were like twisted. That was my first alcoholic drink and I was like, 16 or 17 and my mom let me have it we were at a um, neighbor's halloween party and um she knew i would be responsible is that a bad mom i think she's kind of cool um i never did anything stupid we just hung out around our neighborhood and then actually i think kevin came to pick me up and he's like are you drunk and i was not drunk i was a little bit tipsy but i was not drunk he was like oh my god because you know we hadn't been we hadn't been like to dating together like that, that long at that point what was your first job? My first job, I have, okay, I've had a few first jobs. My first, like, according to the state <laughs> job where I claimed taxes and stuff was um, at AC Moore, the craft store. I don't know if those are a national store, um, but they're like Michael's or Hobby Lobby, just on a smaller scale. Will you go away? My dog's trying to eat my apples. Um, so that was my first job. I started working there when I was 15 years old. And from there, I moved into another retail spot, which I don't know if I've ever shared, but that's where I met my husband. We, we stop, 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 stop. Um, but before that, I worked, I babysat when I was like 12. I babysat these two little girls across the street, and then I had the window open. Do you guys hear the birds? Um, I babysat the, there was two little girls across the street. I think they were, the baby was like eight or nine months and the, um, little girl was, I don't know, like three, I think she's like three. And then I had another set of girls. So I babysat around my neighborhood. I'm going to name everybody. And then my dad had a store. He's a hunter and it was kind of like a sports, sportsman kind of store, um, where he just like taxidermy and stuff. So I kind of did a gross job for a little girl, but when people would shoot deer they have to check them in just to keep it all like legal you have a license you can only get so many deer of a certain kind like male and female whatever whatever um so i would check them in so i i was probably like probably like 12 13 years old it was just like a family business we all participated i rang guys up and stuff they probably like these big like dirty gross men coming in to ring to ring up or check in or whatever to this little girl. I, they were probably like, what? So that's kind of funny. And I'm sorry, all of my answers are so long winded. That's just what I do. Um, first car. I had two first cars. I know it sounds crazy, right? Do you want an apple? Caden has arrived. 
Um, my first first car was a Toyota Corolla. I don't remember. I think it was a 95, 92. It was a 92 Corolla. And I bought it before I got my driver's license. But I bought it myself for like $1,500. And I decided I didn't want the car and I wasn't getting my license anytime soon just because I don't know. Um, so my dad sold the car for $2,700. So I made like all that extra money out of it. And so I went and bought a different car, a permit, and I bought a neon, a Plymouth neon espresso. It was red and it was two door and it had a sunroof and a little spoiler and we called her Rita. Red Rita and I blew her up because I forgot to get her oil changed and she ran out of oil. Lesson to everybody, make sure you at least check your oil yourself to make sure you have some even if you're not getting your oil changed. Lesson learned. Who was the first person to text you today? That would be my friend Susan who have not answered so I should probably do that after this. You alright? You alright? I really don't want to edit this video. <laughs> Who was the first person you thought of this morning? Well, probably my husband. I always do this. I like wake up and then I look around and I look over and he's not there. Always. Like almost every morning I do that. And I don't know if it's because I don't, I think he's still there because I didn't hear him get up or I have no idea. So my husband, I texted him before I even got out of bed because I set my alarm to work out and this brat, he woke up before my alarm went off, which he does all the time. Every time I set my alarm, it just makes him get up earlier. It's so weird. Who was your first grade teacher? My first grade teacher was Mrs. Jump. She was old. I wonder if she's still alive. Where did you go on your first ride in an airplane? My first ride in an airplane I went to Seattle, but technically I went to Georgia because we had a layover. And I live on the East Coast, so I literally flew across the country on my first flight. <laughs> Who was your first best friend and do you still talk? Um, my first best friend was, well, I probably had two of them. I had the girl that lived next door to me. Her name was Kelly. And then I had a girl I went to the school with, um, like first grade up, and her name is Allison. And I am still friends with both of them on Facebook. You know how that goes. You usually don't talk to half the people on your Facebook. So I would say no, we are not friends. Only just because like if I saw either one of them in public, I'd probably avoid them. Is that awful or what? Where was your first sleepover? My first sleepover was probably either at my neighbor Kelly's house or down the street at another friend's house. Um, I had a lot of, like, I love, I wish, I hope our neighborhood becomes this for Kaden and any future children. When I was growing up, I had a lot of kids around both me and my brother. Me and my brother are four and a half years apart. And we both, oh, I'm taking my shoes off, my foot is falling asleep. We both had a lot of kids in our neighborhoods that we could play with. Um, of all ages, even like the big kids and the little kids, boys and girls, we'd all get together. But anyways, um, a lot of my sleepovers and fun things were all involving neighborhood kids. What was the first thing you did this morning? Well, I woke up and I peed and brushed my teeth and brushed my hair. Um, and then I went and got my kid up and changed his diaper and stuff. And then I worked out. I don't know. I don't know which one of those. So I guess technically I peed. What was the first concert you ever went to? NSYNC. Whoop, whoop. We were in the very back row at the Verizon Center in DC. And it was amazing. And we made shirts that said NSYNC. You know, we were each a letter. And they they uh, we used glow-in-the-dark fabric paint. We were pretty amazing. First broken bone. I've never had a broken bone. I broke my spleen once, or I ruptured my spleen, but um, it's healed, and um, that's it. Never had a broken bone. First piercing, my ears. First foreign country you've gone to. 
Well, I don't know if you want to consider Canada a foreign country. So, I've been to Canada. Um, I guess the Bahamas. Yeah, the Bahamas. First movie you remember seeing Aladdin in movie theaters. Because I remember we were kind of light. And it was my mom and me and my brother and my aunt and my cousins. And we had to sit in the front row. When was your first detention? So I never got detention in high school, but I got detention all the time in middle school for talking in class. So probably in sixth grade. Who was your first roommate? My husband. Uh, we moved, I moved out when I was 21 and I moved in with my husband. Well, he was my boyfriend at the time. If you had one wish, what would it be? If I had one wish, it would be that all my stress and worries would just disappear. But then that would revolve around other wishes happening. Like me being successful in my real estate business and us being financially stable. And so it's kind of hard to just have one wish because I need, I, it's like a train or a, a like a, what's the domino effect? Where I need one thing to happen to, for the next thing to happen for the next thing to happen. So, like, everything can just fall into place. Um, so, yeah. What was the first sport you were involved in? I played softball um, when I was a kid. But I also, I did dance and gymnastics and then softball. So, I guess neither of those are sports. So, softball. What is the first thing you do when you get home? This goes for getting home from the grocery store or getting home from work when I did work. Uh, the first thing, my husband is the exact same way. We come home and we kick off our shoes and we change our clothes. We take off our jeans or our work clothes. If we're wearing like anything other than a t-shirt or a hoodie, <laughs> we put them on. So that's why you always see me looking like a hot mess because I am always comfortable and in comfy clothes when I'm at home. And when was your first kiss? My first kiss was shortly after me and my husband made it official that we were dating. Um, I was 17. I just turned 17. We started dating February 27th and my birthday is February 9th. And I think he said he was afraid to make it official before I turned 17. I don't know why. I think he was afraid he was going to get in trouble or something. So... Um, yeah, we started dating right after I turned, uh, right after I turned 27, right after I turned 17 and we were in my bedroom and we were on my bed and he's like, can I kiss you? And then he, um, it was awful. We like, our teeth hit each other. It was super romantic. But practice things perfect. I kicked, I kicked his shoe off. You kicked your shoe off? Okay. My son is now wearing snow boots. That is the end of the first time tag. I'm really sorry if this is ridiculously long, which I have a feeling it probably is. I really also hope it's still recording, which I should have probably checked, but I'll try to edit it down if I can. Um, but yeah, it was fun to do. Like I said, I do these tag videos because you have boots too. I'm so glad. I do these tag videos so that you guys can get to know me. So if any of you want to do a tag video, um, do it. I want to see. I want to get to know you. I love watching tags of people that I am subscribed to because, yeah, it kind of like lets you into that person's life just a little bit more. So, with that said, I will be going now and uh, I will see you tomorrow in my We Lost Wednesday update. I'm super scared. I've done, I've done much better this week, but we'll see how it plays out on the scale. So yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. So I just watched part of the video back to make sure, you know, it was like focused and it was recording and I noticed the entire time, let me sit you back down. The entire video I had this hair and it was just sticking up over here and I apologize because it was driving me crazy watching it. I don't know if it's just because it was me. Um, but sometimes when somebody has a hair out of place or if their necklace is spun around, which I didn't even think to look at that, 
it, like I just want to fix it for them because I know it would probably drive them crazy so I apologize I really don't want to film the video again so you got me you got you got Kristen real <laughs> so anyways Hi. please don't judge my crazy hairdo and um yeah I'll talk to you guys later bye